Hello, it's Alina from Exomate Mastery here, and we're continuing our Time Saver series. So today I wanted to show you how I build estimates by hand using category selector codes and then the calculator field for ease of estimating and to be really super quick and efficient. So let me go show you how this works. So here I am, I'm in the estimate here as you can see, and I'm in estimate items, and I've selected a folder on the grouping tree where I want to start adding line items. Now what I do in our supplement business and how we write our estimates is we recreate the original statement of loss and then put the supplement items listed below. Okay, so recreating the original statement of loss people say is tedious and time consuming, and it is, I will admit, if you don't know how, you know, don't know your category and selector codes and have to search for things all the time. So what I mean is a lot of people go and they search for three tab shingles, right? And they'll choose whatever shingle they would like here. 25 year, click, add it to the list, and you build your list that way. What I do is use what's called category and selector codes. And if you can start to memorize these, they're actually not that hard to remember if you apply some logic to them. Just some of them you can't explain, so you'll just have to memorize them just out of rote memory. But like your RFG 240, this used to be the shingle weight. It doesn't really apply all that much anymore, but when they built the program, that was the weight of the shingle. So when you look at 300, it's going to be a laminate shingle, okay? Also, it's a 30 year, right? You can also go 400, that's a 40 year. Okay, so that's some of the ways you can maybe attach some memory to these line items so that they kind of start to make sense for you. So let's say we had RFG 400 on both of these. So when you add the one shingle line item, it looks like with RFG 400 or whatever you're shingle type you're adding, it always adds the removal and replace, right? So I always have to go in here and just click in and hit OK, and then click in and, and do our math here with these remove and replace types of uh, line items. So what we want to avoid in Xactimate is clicking, because seconds turn into minutes, which turn into hours, which turns into I could have taken a vacation by the time I add up all the time wasted by clicking around and just making some uh, mistakes in efficiency. So what you want to be able to do is to use pretty much the quick entry screen here. So I'm going to add some drip edge. I'm going to use the RFG category, then it automatically moved my cursor over and I was able to type in drip, which brings up drip edge. And then I can tab again three times, one, two, three, and it'll take me down to my calculator field where I can hand enter the linear feet of drip edge. Then I'm going to hit my enter key. When I hit my enter key, it adds the line item to the bottom of the list, brings my cursor back up to category, and I can start all over again with a different one. So let's do some step flashing. Got to be able to spell it, right? Okay, there we go. Step flashing. So let's say there's 35 linear feet of that. Just hit enter. And then I'm going to go with my L flashing. And let's say that's uh, 20 feet of that. You get the idea. So by using category and selector codes all day long, we can just hand enter these line items and never click, right? Because I see people add a line item, click back in, you know, in here, try to go to the calculator field or go to your quantity, what have you. All right, so once you build that list there, the original statement of loss, I then throw in here supplement items listed below, just like this, and then I'll add my macro, right? So then now I'm going to run my macro for, do, 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 we've got a 400 shingle, so I'm going to search for lamb for my macro and throw this on here. I'm going to allow the duplicate items because if they were short on drip edge or short on step flashing, we're going to want to catch that and ask for those differences in line items. And then I can just go through here and um, delete off what I don't need and keep what I do need. So let's say we needed some low slope felt, ridge starter, ice and water shield, and we'll just take everything else off. Okay, so I delete off everything I don't need from my macro. Then, so that's what I do. I use it like a checklist, go through, take off what you don't need, delete it, get it out of there. Then I address quantity. I don't go in and out of quantity as I'm doing this um, on the estimate. So I just look at all my pictures, look at my eagle view to see, you know, is there step flashing, is there counter flashing, all of that, what's the correct measurements. Then I'll go in here, keep the line items that I've kept. I will use the calculator field then to go ahead and fill that out. So let's say we had 4.5 on squares on the the double coverage uh, low slope, and then I just hit my enter key. And watch, it moves it right down to the next line. 
No clicking, all right? This saves you so much time. To believe me, the less you can click around, the better off you are. So if we had 48 linear feet of ridge cap, and let's say 127 linear feet of starter, and then our ice and water shield and our valleys, I don't know, uh, 28 times 3. So I can also do calculations or perform calculations in that calculator field, which also saves me time from having to go outside and hand calculate or get my phone and, you know, you you get the idea. By the way, there's a phone here. <laughs> so that's how I write an estimate very quickly and efficiently by learning the category and selector codes, by using the quick entry screen whenever hand entering. Then once you add your macros, delete off what you don't need, and then quickly go down this calculator list and just hit your enter key. And voila, your estimate's written. You can now go fishing or go sell more roofs or whatever it is you like to do. You're out of there. So that's how quickly and efficiently you should be able to write estimates. Now, shameless plug, in the Xactimate Mastery membership for our members, you get access to the macros that I use to write estimates every day. You get uh, lists of line items that you can print out and learn your category and selector code. So shameless plug, those kinds of things are what's built into Xactimate Mastery membership. And that's why we're different than any other Xactimate trainers out there because we offer these kinds of resources. So if you want to check out what Xactimate Mastery is all about, visit our website at www.xm. 8mastery.com. If you like this topic and like the time-saving efficiency series, please like this video, share with your friends, and comment below if you have some time-saving tips of your own or a video that you'd like me to produce. So I hope you guys are having a great week in your business, and we'll see you next week.